Speaking of Jilly, oh, oh Jilly, we have a report here from her. She went to the Shedd Aquarium and she checked out the new crab exhibit that's just going to be there until January. Oh, okay. Check this out. Cool. Normally when I think of crabs, I think of the kind that I'm going to be eating. But here at the Shedd Aquarium in Chicago's very own, they have a very new exhibit, crabs. Well, come on, let's go check it out. I'm here with Mark Schick, the collection manager here at the Shedd Aquarium for the new crabs exhibit. So how many crabs do you have here at the exhibit? There's about 40 or 50, 45 different species and total animals. There's about probably 100 to 120 total, total animals. Describe the typical day in life of your typical crab that you have here. Pretty much these guys are always looking for food or looking for a mate. So they kind of hunt around. If uh, there's no nobody ready to mate, then they're definitely going to try and find food. And they, you have a whole different exhibit when you start feeding. The animals start really getting active, running around, and are, are very active. Well, speaking of mating, well, what do the males do generally when they're looking for the, the ladies? It varies by species. The fiddler crabs are probably the most exciting to watch. They have one large arm, one small one. They'll actually wave it and like literally wave the females in. And size does matter when it comes to fiddler crabs. Females usually go for a male with a bigger claw. Do they mate for life? No, no, they're. They do it. And They're players. They definitely are. Yes, definitely. <laughs> well, tell me, like, it, it says here that crabs are amazing machines. How are crabs like machines? Um, they're very much like machines in the fact that they have a hard outer shell, an outer casing that protects all the inner workings. They have this external skeleton. It's very hard. They have to lose that to grow. So to grow, they have to throw away their old skeleton. They crawl out of it, and they're very soft. And they harden up and turn into a nice hard shell. It's a bigger animal, and now it's a new machine ready to go again. I'm here with Julie Adams, who is the designer of the crabs exhibit. Tell me a little bit about what it took to make and design this exhibit. There were several people working on it, and um, we came up with this great concept of crabs as really cool machines. We thought that would be a really cool concept to play with. And then that actually drove the design of the space and the content of the space and, and how we actually talk about all of the crabs. This exhibit is so interactive. The kids really, really like it. Tell me about the reaction from the people coming in. Yeah, so far so good. There's been a lot of good feedback about this exhibit. The kids are in here. What kind of things do they have with the kids? Well, actually, um, there's several different activities. We um, have a, an activity called Claw School where kids are challenged to pick the right tool for the right job, you know, because every claw is designed differently for a different purpose. And from one Julie to another, thank you very much. <laughs> Tell me, how do you like the exhibit here? It's cool. And which one here was your favorite crab? The one that has the blue shell. Tell me what you like about this exhibit. I like all the crabs and how they always look like and how they move and eat. And which one, which crab is your favorite? The one with the colorful one with the blue back and the orange body. Well, how long will the crabs be here at the Shedd Aquarium? Crabs just opened up recently, actually Memorial Day weekend, and it'll stay be here through the beginning of January of next year. If people want to find out more about the crab exhibit, uh, well, how would they find out? Best thing to do is go to our website, which is shedaquarium.org. This is starting to make me really hungry. I'm going to go get something to eat. Back to you, Tony and Patrice. If you want to find out more about those crabs that Julie just showed you, go to nudehippo.com. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs>